Welcome into Colts Neck Golf Club and another paintbrush golf video today. Today we're doing nine holes here at Colts Neck Golf Club in Colts Neck, New Jersey. We're super hyped. Boys are feeling good. We just hit the range. Yes, GPs yes, hitting yes, a few sir. hybrids on the range, piping them down the middle. You know what we do? Let's see. Let's see what he's got. Are we shanking it or are we putting it down the middle for the cam? We're shanking it for the cam. Yeah, it's not a good start to the video, but you know, we're feeling pretty good. Wedges were dialed, hybrid three wood was all dialed on the range, so we're feeling good. Let's see what he's got. One more shot. Oh, that was much more pure. Nice little stinger right underneath the wind. It is windy out here, but boys are feeling good. We're ready to go. Aaron, I have a question for you. What score will you be happy with? What score do you think you're shooting? And what score would you be mad with? We played Trump yesterday twice. So you guys saw in the first video, I shot 75, personal best by a large margin. Um, here, it's kind of more of like a knock around course, uh, much shorter, much more gettable. Still 134 slow, but much more gettable than Trump for sure. So I would be happy with breaking 80. I'd be stoked with breaking like 77, 78. But what do I expect? And I'd expect to be under 85, and I hope that's the case, but yeah, the same goes for you, GP. What do you think? What would you like to be under? So, um, yeah, like Jared said, this course is a lot more gettable. One practice one. I would be stoked if I broke 80. I think I'm going to be sub 86. I'll be pissed if I'm above 86. So, so um, let's see. One more drive for the cam, and then we'll see you on, the see we'll on hole one. First Oh, that was piped. Yeah. Let's wow. go. See you on hole one. All right, par four. Not very long. I don't know how far. 360 yards or so. It's pretty short. And uh, got hybrid in hand. I'm gonna try and hit one to the right of the bunker and have a wedge in. It looks like the pin's in the front. Car path. Car path. Car path and to the right. Should be okay. Right over the bunker. Kicked hard right. Should be kind of just in the bunker or just kind of on the edge, maybe in the rough. If you watched our last video, you know, uh, GP was on a beach vacation for the it's whole day. It's in the day. bunker a lot. I kind of don't know what club I'm going to go here. Let's see what he's looking at. About 90 yards. 109. Perfect. Really perfect. Going right at it. Wow. Just kind of sat right before that ground to repair right there and looks like he's got 15 feet or so for bird. Let's go. All right, not ideal. Got some tree trouble. Don't really think I'm going to be able to make a back swing here. It's on the front, I'll take that. Tracking near the pin. Oh. Bogey on one. What does Phil Mickelson say? Best round start with the bogey. Yes, That's sir. disappointing. GP for his birdie here. Disappointing three putt for, for me. Here's what he's looking at. Slow down. Walking off hole number one. It's bogey for me, brings me to one over. GP's gonna stay at even par. Yes, sir. Going to a gettable hole number two. Really gettable. A little long. Sound sounds really cool out of the trees, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, awesome tee box coming up. All right, and we'll see you over there. All right, hole two, 404 yards, it says from back here. I don't know what they're doing with this tee box placement. It's literally in the middle of a hill. so It is so a, uneven. I don't know if you guys can see. It's lie either way, so not really sure what we're doing here. But they'll make up for it with the sound that you're about to hear, folks. Because let me tell you, this echo around this tee box is ridiculous. All right, three wooden hand. Just going to try and rip one up there. Kind of, You can't really see it, but his left bunker just kind of peel a cut off there. That's what I'm going for. Let's see it. I hit a cut right at the bunker. Alrighty. Just gotta keep this one straight into the fairway. I like this hole. As long as I'm not in the bunker. Just hit a good one. Oh. 
dips what? carving past those trees. Didn't see it down, but kind of stuck past that left, the right of the tree right here. Should be okay. I hope I got through. I Should think Should be I just did. on the rough on the uh, left side, or maybe towards I hole did. one right there. All right, boys. So uh, this didn't go too far. So I have 183 to the pin. Just downwind. Put six iron right on it. Downwind six iron. Oh, kind of just a little chunky, maybe. A little chunky, but. Right towards that bunker, and it might be in that green side bunker, but that's all right. Bus. Car camera, real quick. That last chunked six iron I hit just made my thumb instantly swollen. Like, this is the most my thumb's ever hurt during golf. I thought I hit a perfect shot, and I thought it was kind of like fading in there nicely. But I guess I hit it a little too far straight. I kind of wanted the car went off the bunker, and I kind of hit a straight cut right at it. So, um, not ideal. 98 yards. Don't know how to play this. Don't know if I can get over the lip. Gonna try and punch 58 degree. Kind of out right. And right. Basically, just want to go over the camera and Jared. Kind of just on the back side. Might be able to putt that kind of right against the uh, rough right there. All right, pretty standard bunker shot. We are uh, doing a little like lift clean place in the bunkers because there's footprints everywhere and I have everywhere. Sort of clean footprints. People just don't break them here, so that's good there. What can you expect? Let's see what we can do here. Honestly, very nice. Alright, so my ball did trickle into the rough, so I am going to have to chip it. Pick right. Should funnel down that hill to the right. Looks pretty good. Oh, that's really good. Should have uh, four or five feet. We like that. All right. Here's what I got left for par. It's kind of a messed up pin position. I don't really know. Let's just see if we can kind of get it close and hopefully it drops. Mm. Didn't really trust the line. I thought it was going to go out. Well, I got a, I got a bogey. I got a par. Actually, do I mean, excuse me. Both for bogeys. Jared walks out and saves his bogey. All right, should be a Straight pretty up the casual, hill. little uphill, maybe a little right to left, but uh, I like it. Yep, drops it in there. Good bogey. Thank you. All right, boys are driving to the third tee. It's like a it's like a one minute and a half drive, maybe. So a uh, little car cam, real quick, boys. Jared's drinking some nice, cool blue, classic type of dude. Me, on the other hand, I'm drinking the Riptide Rush. Folks, comment down your favorite Gatorade flavor. I consider myself a Gatorade connoisseur, cool if you will. Best. Cool blue is OG. I'm not going to take that away from Jared. But have any of you ever sipped some Riptide Rush? Shout out to my good friend, Pat Riptide. Got a par five coming up. Pretty gettable. Pretty gettable. Pretty. All right, par five. I don't know how far it is. It goes just like hole two at Trump. It kind of goes hard right. That tree you see in the distance kind of sticking out over the bunkers. That's going to be my target line. I don't think I hit it quite high enough to get over it, but we're going to try. All right, duck hooked it. Hit the middle of the fairway. Hard kick. Bounce, bounce. So just be in the rough or kind of in the back side of the fairway. Alrighty, uh, like Jared said, this is kind of like number two of Trump, but it's like baby brother, literally. Um, so let's just go hit that power fade that you guys like to see and uh, see formation in the chat. Shout out Jake on that one. Dan. Come right around towards the uh, left center of the fairway. Should have bounced in, it should be okay. Kind of right towards those trees. So probably still be on the fairway. If not, I'm right with my brother, Jared. I got 222. I got zero chance of getting there because I have no kind of lie. I got nothing, I can't really go for it. I got trees in the way. I can't even see the pin that's blocked out by this tree. I think the play is trying eight iron back in the stands, punch one about a hundred yards and have a wedge. I love the call. So let's see what we can do here. It's buried. Choke down, way back. 
Punch one, sit down. GP here, he might have a little tree trouble on his backswing. Yeah, so again, nothing that crazy. Uh, I don't think we can really uh, go for it here. If I got an eight iron in there, it'd be a little too much. So we're gonna go calm nine. Try and punch one out there and have a nice wedge in. I topped it, that tree really messed with yeah, me. Yeah, the tree in his back swing, but you know, that's right, it's going 80 yards down there and he's gonna have we could get that a, on. a little flip wedge in. All right, been waiting a fat lick to hit this approach shot, um, but they finally walked off the green. He might have to jump them. Uh, but I got about 140 to the pin. Downwind. Gonna try to hit a 130 shot and let it carry onto the front. Oh, that's so loud and so bad, folks. Hold it right in the bunker. Need to get up and down for par. Shit. Chip in a putt, it's okay. What do you got, Jared? So, this ball rolled out actually further than I thought. I have 100 yards on the button. Got some dirty grooves. Make sure you clean them. That's how you got spin, folks. This is a little, it's downwind, so 58 is too much. That's all I got. That's my lowest wedge. Um, gonna choke down and play just like a three quarter. See if I can maybe throw it past or just kind of land it right on the pin. Chunked it. Chunked it right in the bunker short. Sloppy Not approaches ideal. from the boys. All right, my ball's on the bunker. Got a little... Try and get this up and down. I hate these shots, I'll be up to Really fantastic three, from there. Three or four feet. Right. There's what I'm looking at for my par. GP here. Okay, I'm gonna play in lift rake in place because nobody rakes these bunkers. Alright, uh, pretty casual, just got a slap part of it, let it get close. Looks pretty good right there. Great shot. He's gonna have five or six feet for his par, and let's see if the boys can uh, knock in a few putts. Great par save. Right. We're in there for par. Our GP here for his par. All right, got a little right to left, not too much, because these greens aren't maintained well enough to actually like break, so let's see. Nice roll, he's in for par. Two pars in for the boys. Going on to hole four, par three. All right, 157, par three. Kind of down breeze. I don't know what club to hit. Terrible swing. Hooked it. Onto the back of the green. And it should be on the back of the green. It's an awful swing, but we might be putting. So it's just like a little bit outside my eight iron range. I don't have my seven at the moment. We're waiting on those new shafts that did ship today. So I'm gonna take a strike at Jared's Cobras. The Ricky Fowler set, if you will. Let's see. First swing ever with these irons. Let's make it a good one. Got a behemoth of a putt after a terrible tee shot. Gonna see if we can hit one up there. I have no idea on the pace of these. Gonna try and whack it. No, it looks really good. Give himself really about four feet for par. All right, GP pulled the second shot. He was a little premature on the uh, shot and didn't wait for me to get over here. But he's right here just short of the mat. All right, that's gonna be what he's looking at for bogey. Right. Great par. Two putt, par. Hit a house. That's right. I think he's gonna be in there for double. You're good there. Super short, it's like 280 to the pin or something. We gotta carry all this. Like a five iron, just gonna try and put one in the fairway. All right, all right duck hook it. In the fairway on the other side, kind of bouncing. Just made the hole long, but he'll be okay. Okay. 
Oh, it got through. Yep. I think you should be in the fairway, kind of by me. So here's where GP's tee shot ended up. He Not snuck so through. That is that tree is his friend. It went right through that hole right there. Awkward yep. slope, but a fairway nonetheless. 125. 125. Nice stock nine iron. Came out really fat with this lie. Chip it a putt. Got to save par. Must. Not a bad look there though. All right. 116 playing 118. Look at the shirt. Look at the shirt. The wind's kind of coming off this way. I oh, shout out good, good. Big fan. Uh, coming out that way. Don't really know if it's going to hurt, but I don't think I'm going to have quite all the distance. Got sand wedge 54. Just smooth one. Same thing with that lie, man. I don't know if you guys see the ball is about uh, two awful, feet, swing. two feet below. Got a lob wedge. Gonna try and smooth one. That's gotta sit. Be just off the back. Our GP to get up and down for his par. I hit a terrible shot. Two, several awful shots in a row. This looks pretty good here. Sit just a little bit. Not terrible, he's got that look for par now. Let's see if the boys can, uh, you know, do something. I'm right here, gonna try and chip it in or something like that and keep my score, you know, somewhat reasonable. All right, here's what I'm looking at. Got a nice little delicate chip here. Gonna try and land this in the fringe. Let it roll out. We're gonna hit up on the hit into the bunker right here. I mean, five yard chip, I somehow bladed it. Terrible chip, and we got seven, eight feet for a bogey. All right, can't line it up, just gotta hit it good. Sit. 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 All right, he's got a little tester coming back tester. for bogey. And I pulled it, and I got a double on a really easy hole. All right, he's in for double. More left than I thought. Pretty long par five here. Got to swing pretty aggressive. Just want to take a nice good fade at that tree. Kind of hanging straight ball right at that bunker, right over the bunker. Kind of just right of the tree. Should be okay. All right, boys. Um, I started pressing record, walking up to the tee box. So when I actually pressed record, I wasn't recording Jared's shot. But um, I had a terrible drive. I mean, I am 160 yards off the tee box. Why are you guys in the tee anyway? So there you have it. You know what happened. Gotta hit a good one here. Absolutely Straight down the fairway. Almost missed the ball, but we're in the fairway. Straight down. Still got a ways in. Came 260 off the tee, and I still got. A number I can't really reach, so you know what we got. Poor Hybe. Oh, he striped it. Kind of going up the right side there. Throws one right at the pin. Stays in the stands beautifully. What a shot. I think it's short. I hit that so terribly. All right, GP's ball found the rough. I think he's got about 115 yards. All right, I'm just gonna dead aim, 50 degree, and get it there. Oh, I chunked it so bad. Chunky, bro. go. Oh, oh good, really good kick. You actually probably could putt that, kind of just, you know, just 10 feet off the front. So fat, when something's so attackable, you get so excited and you forget, you forget. Here's where I ended up. Got about 20 feet, four bird. I hit that so poorly, almost missed the ball. Kind of got one of those lucky breaks. Shout out Cobra, Cobra King Tour Irons. Got some forgiveness to him. GP here, he's got a pretty straightforward chip. Kind of going up the hill to this middle pin here. See what he can do. Wow, that looks really good. That's a pretty good chip there and he's got three or four feet to get in for his par. All right, got a little left right up the hill. Probably about 20 feet. Gonna see if we can uh, Someone make an unlikely birdie. Mm. 
it's a really good roll. I have a tap in par. Never mad with those. We like these. We like these a lot. This green is so miserable. Right in the center. Nice putt. Two pars for the boys. We're back on track. All right, par three, straight up the hill. About the shortest par three you'll ever see. The tips are up from back there. I think it's only about 100 yards. Shortest par three you will probably ever see. We tend to usually butcher it, but let's see what we can do here. See if we can paint one. I got 50 degree, 58 degree in hand. Gonna try and uh, hit a nice slow little three quarter smoothie and see what we can do. Let's go sit. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, All right. pin high. About eight feet bird. Yeah. What if I get a hole in one, you know? That's what I'm thinking. You're thinking hole in one? Like, I hope. I mean, you can. The 50 degrees is a great number. Honestly, bro, I, mean, I, I don't, don't even want to tee it up. You kind of look like Joel Damon with the bucket hat. Thank you. I wish our game was like that, but I you know. I wish. Well, you know what? This shot's for Joel Damon. Joel Damon, he's a great guy. Don't know you. Hopefully, he's good. Oh, uh, just slightly tuggy. Sit down. Kid air mailed it into the bunker. Probably a perfect number. Going to the beach. But Jim Putt, the kid loves the beach. He's gotta take his girlfriend on vacation, not his not his sandwich. Or the golf ball. Uh, GP's found himself in the one raked bunker here. This is what he's looking at. Simple little bunker shot. Let's make it look simple, huh? Oh Sit down. Just kind of off the back there. See if you can get that up and down for Bogue. This is chippinable up the hill. Kind of hung out to the left over here. Got a little tester coming back for his bogey. Here's what I'm looking at for my birdie. Got a little, uh, I think left to right or up the hill. Got a complete divot that it looks like old in front of my ball. So I can't exactly tell if it's gonna run right over that and kind of impact the ball, but see if we can make a bird. Oh, uh, started walking. Oh, I thought that was good. Uh, the lines are on, tapping pars. Turn. Never they really turned. Breaks. All right, he's in. In for a double. Bad double. All right, on the eighth tee box here. I'm uh, I'm seven over. A couple rough doubles. Lack of putting. We're there. We're just a couple sloppy shots around the green, but it's okay. This course is always humbling. This is where I shot my personal best of a 78. Um, I shot my personal best of the time there. Then I just shot my time. personal best the other day. But Today, uh, I, swing's lost. It's lost. Yeah, it's I funny because this course is always humbling in a way because it's easy. But then again, golf reminds you that golf is hard because you got to play good. Golf. I had a perfect birdie putt. Thought I had a good, good putt. Golf. Hit the lip. But anyway, seven over. Try to get a stroke back here on this par five. Pretty long. Yeah, let's go after it. Par five, three wooden hand. This tee box is so outgrown. There's something in my shoe. Trap draw. Beautiful trap draw. But, should be coming to the fairway and it should be good. Yes, sir. All right, I want to start my line against that tree and have it fade into the fairway. Should be money right there. A little bit, that'll be fine. Should be in the fairway, I can't really tell because of the sun. It should be in the fairway right by the bunker. All right, I got about 267 to the green. Don't want to risk the hybrid right now. Um, eight iron might not be enough. So we got six iron in hand. Let's make a good swing. Yeah, that was pure. Should be pretty money right down the right pure. side of the fairway. Should kick down that hill too, and should only have a little flip oh, wedge here. in. Let's go. 236, I think, to the pin. I got 228 and then 236, so I don't know which one it is. 
Somebody left a cigarette in front of my ball. Gotta be better there. Gotta be better. I don't know who's smoking cigarettes anyway, but people are just walking off. Feels a little down breeze. I hope this is uh, not too much club. I just probably don't shank it. So just give her it. Kind of out to the right. Should be kind of like just right of the green chipping on, but we should be okay. All right, we're sitting 111. Really good shot. Um, Got to capitalize. Don't want to flirt with the bunker. Going to keep it a little left, if anything. Um, so yeah, want to really repeat that tee shot. Came out lefter than I wanted. Touch a piece. Oh, bad kick. Terrible kick. Kind of just off in the fringe first cut, maybe. Got to get up and down. Found myself in the green side bunker. Gonna see if we can uh, get one up and down here for Bert. Not ideal. Was in a decent spot. Now I gotta try and do something here. Probably land it on this down slope. So get up and down for par. Absolute brick I just threw down there, but got a little tester for par. Let's see if we can make it. Kind of push it out to the left here. He's gonna give me a little bit of a read. See if we can make those for par. Our GP here four is par. I don't have my aligned ball, but it's fine. Oh. We're getting hit up on over here. We can't even go yet. We're getting hit up on. Looks good. Oh my god, that thing tailed off at the end. Alright, he's gonna tap in there. He was good. He's gonna tap in there. I'm Bogue. mad, but bogey. His looked like it's kind of snaked a little right, kind of at the end. Kind of see the same thing here, gonna kind of play a little left edge putt, maybe just outside left, and kind of let it come down. All right. Nice par. I'm glad one of us could walk away with it. Walk it off, eight green here. I'm four over. I made over some really annoying putts that haven't dropped. Not an ideal start. Not an ideal start. I'm still breaking 86. I Let's promise. see what we can do and kind of finish out this nine strong here, our whole nine. All right, we just played through a foursome. It was two guys and their girlfriends. The guys that we were waiting on all day. We just said, hey, can we play through? We screamed into the fairway. So we were a little shy. It was shy. like a 310 yard, 320 yard par four. We both part it. Both so. part it. We didn't get it on camera just because we wanted to be as fast as we could. Um, so but yeah, it was a pretty part. good showing for the boys. So I'm eight over through nine. So I shot 45 on the front. Um, yeah, starting the back. This is officially over. now yep. uh, part two of the video. Play the back nine with us at Colts Neck. All right, kind of got to play quick because we are uh, just played through these people and they were kind of like towards the green at the end over here. So see if we can do something. 172 adjusted. So I have seven irons kind of into wind. Let's see if I can hit a fade. I think draws all day for some reason. But let's see if I can hit a fade today or on this hole. I hit a trap draw, almost dropped the club. In the bunker short, hit that terribly. All right, 170 GP. All righty, um, got the six iron. I'm gonna tee it up a little bit. Try to get some good flight on it. Um, yeah, really gonna just take a full swing, really try to get it there. I'm a little short, tripping the putt, but uh, gonna try to get it there. All right. Nailed yeah, that right a little towards that bunker. Too short of it, and just into that corner of the bunker. Might be short of it, it might slope down, but we'll see. Two beat shots for the boys. All right, GP with a little sand opportunity here. That's what he's looking at. Hitting two on this part three. Looks pretty good to me. We're on that front edge, great shot. Get all the way back there. Let's go. Nice shot. He's got a good opportunity to uh, stay far there. All right. Love the shot. Oh, man. Bunker to bunker. Yeah, we are playing really, really fast because these people are behind us. Um, 
So now Jared's running. You never want to run on the golf course. Never. Especially when people are behind you that you just played through and both got pars on. But it's okay. So Jared's scrambling. It's the fine scrambling. It's a great second shot. It's got to slow down. I have a tester for bogey. Now I get the bogey. Get it halfway to the hole. All right, bad way to drop two shots, just because we're rushing so much, but. Uh, it's pretty right to left. Looks pretty good. Oh, just missed. Going on to hole 11. Double bogey for me, bogey for GP. I don't know who made this tee box. It's literally on like a full slope, so you literally can't line it up anywhere. I don't really know where to go. I'm just gonna pick back here and just assume that this is the flattest spot because there is none. Hitting a trap draw all day means I'm probably gonna fade this one. Probably. <laughs> I don't know so. that he needs this trap draw. Oh, the trap draw. Hit the trap draw. Really nice, aggressive line. All right, I kind of went at that bunker. It's safe over there, probably in the bunker or just over. So we'll see. GP here on this uneven tee box. I mean. It is sloped that way and then sloped this way, so Guys, nothing you, you can do. Guys, you never want to be on the left side of the tee box, and that's exactly what I'm doing, but whatever. It's kind of going right. Four! It's kind of on hole number nine, so we'll see uh, his lie there. All right, we found GP's ball in the right rough over here. It's got over, I think, 230 there, so. But he's got hybrid. Gonna try and lay one up there. Perfect. Didn't catch all of it, but it's running right up there by, by the cart sign in the middle of the fairway. Chipping a putt. It's gonna be perfect. He's got a nice little pitch on. Try and make par. All right, I got 150. Don't really know what to play. I think I'm gonna hit nine. Found the dead center of this bunker. El Centro of it. Got nine iron. Out of the sand here. Kind of choke it down, take a nice full swing. Right at it. Pretty good if it goes. Nice. Oh, it's actually a pretty good shot. Should be pin high Should just now about left. 15, 20 feet for birdie. Good shot. Alright, here's what GP's looking at. Little pitch shot on. He's hitting three. Wow. Good shot. Just on the fringe, he's kind of a good look. Maybe about a 15 footer for par. Slide a lot this way. Or it's least supposed to. Power and hope that it works. Slide, slide, slide. Slide more. Please. Never really turns. But he is in for bogey. That's a gimme there. He's in for bogey. Alright. Alright. Should be kind of left edge here. I blast it past. Just happened for the par. He gets out of here with par. Alrighty. He's driving up to a bump there. This cart doesn't work. This cart's so bad. It, it like, like goes full like, throttle. Like I'm flooring it. It's just not moving. Alright. Watch. Ready? Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. Full throttle, but not for long. Watch. It's going to pause us right about. I'm still full throttle, throttle. and now it just breaks for no apparent reason. Ridiculous. But um, the only good news is we're going up to a really short par 4. I'm talking like too short to hit your driver, so it's awkward. Um, maybe about 240-ish from the tips. Um, Somebody left their ball on the green for some reason. Someone but... left their ball right on the green for dominance, but hey, let's go get a birdie, okay? Let's do that. And right now it's playing as par, it's par four, but it's playing as a really short one because they haven't built the tee box yet. So at least temporarily, now it's 211 yards. Still no easy feat because it's into wind right now. Got somebody going across, but I got five iron. Don't think it's enough club. I feel like she might be coming with a club for one of us. All right, five iron cut is gonna be the intended play. It's just drawing. Swing feels foreign right now. It's kind of bad mental state. Let's see what we can do. Car, Car path. path. Car path, just off to the right. I'll have an easy chip.
looking pretty good. I think it's going to be a little short. Yeah, it's in the fairway. 73 yards? All right. 69 yard pitch. I kind of got going here. It's a cheesy one, so at least I kind of got something. I'm in the fescue, actually a pretty decent line. Gonna try and uh, pitch one out there to the front, let the upslope kill it. I don't know why I'm talking like I know how to do that, but. Go. That is way short, but hope we can get that up and down from far. Just hitting two on this short par four. I'm making a mess of it, I'm right here. Looks pretty good, coming in low. Bounce on here. It looks really good, supposed to turn right. But he's got a nice 15, 12 foot look for his birdie. All right, so Jared's elected to putt this one. Kind of a nice little backdrop. He's got a good amount of carpet to get over. He's gonna have to hit this one hard. All right, it trickles through. Really, really great effort. Just gonna go ahead and tap in his par. Should be good. I think it's good by GP. It's definitely good. Just a little tap in. In with par. A little cheesy one. Probably should have been a bogey. I didn't really deserve it, but we're in with par nonetheless. All right. I don't care that it's cheesy. I don't care about anything. I want a birdie. By the way, just so you guys know, we're not lying. Par four. Here's the scorecard. Par four, right there. That way you guys know. It's pretty straight. Should come a little to Might his just break right. This way at the end. So uh, let's just hit a good one. I like this line a lot, actually. Got to get it there. Get if it's there, there it's good. All right. Well, wow. he's. I'm gonna give him that. He's good for his par. Wow. He's in. He's All right. Walking up tee box. Short. Uh, par four. Kind of to the left. You can't see the green. To the left. It's guarded by a bunch of trees. Get hybrid. Shout out my girlfriend Hannah. She got. She got it for me. One of my favorite clubs. Let's see if I can. Uh, Hit a few good shots for her. I kind of just fade one off the bunker. I toe drawed it. it. Stays right at the bunker, it's okay. And it is right in the bunker. Alrighty. Any par four that's under 400 yards, I absolutely love. So let me love this. Get a nice fade right off those bunkers, right? Should be money going right towards the right side of that bunker. Should be in the fairway. Kicked over the bunker and he's perfect right in the middle of the fairway. I don't know, I got I got gap wedge. I feel like it's really not enough club. I'm just gonna hit it hard. It slightly. Oh, great. Good kick. kick. Got a member's bounce, even though I quit this club last year. <laughs> kind of on the, sh I'm actually still short. Got a little pitch shot on her, potentially a nice little, little putt. Chipping a putt. 129, playing 131. A little downwind, probably 125 shot. Go. Never saw it. Great on the green. Oh, on the green, going right towards the pin. Great shot. Should have like seven feet for birdie. Let's go. It's always fun grabbing the putter out of the bag. But um, yeah, I sunk one in pretty close. So let's see what we could do. All right, gonna take a little Rick Shields approach and putt it. I mean, I don't know what that is in front of the green. It's terrible. I don't know what that is. Um, gonna try and putt it. Probably should take the aerial approach because of that. But I just wanna keep it on the ground. It's gonna be bouncy. It's all heck, but it should break a little left once it gets up there. Oh, hopped right over all the garbage. Where's the break left? Oh, there it is, last second. Oh, Alrighty. Nice little three footer. Nice. For all right, I'm gonna tap this in. Nice par. All right, in with par. Really want this birdie. Not much play in the putt. Just gotta sink it, really. Uh, I didn't trust the line. Uh, he's in with he's in with par though. That's a gimme there. Par. Tapping par, he's in. No complaints there. No complaints. All right, par four straight away. I got a three wood. Gonna try and rip one. 
Uh, play a little low approach. Kind of straight at that bunker. Oh, I got a good kick. Holy shit, he got into the fairway. Wow. That was an insane kick. That was insane. I don't Back know if the camera the fixed that up. I'm pretty sure it does. He bounced into the car, then off the tree, and then into the fairway. So we take those. Yep. All right, it's got the break of a lifetime. Wait till you guys see this. Alrighty, um, narrow fairway. Just gotta find it. If we're in the rough, a little to the right, it's okay. That should be. You called it. Uh, right side of the fairway. Bounce. Bounce. Yeah, should still be in the fairway. Perfect. I'm gonna keep recording just so you guys know we're telling the truth here. This ball, I mean, hit the trees over there and bounce left like you've never seen before. Absolutely insane. Let's see. Yeah. A little cart cam on the way. I am playing absolutely awful. I'm six over somehow. Um, I mean, you guys have seen it. I think I'm still 10 over. Yeah, I'm 10 over. I'm six over, but I can't hit the ball. I'm just putting it down the fairways. I really, somehow making some putts. Uh, yeah, I'm a little disappointed in my putting. Um, I really should only be like eight or seven over if I'm being completely honest. I only had like really one bad shot oh, all day. Um, it's really not true, but you know what I mean. Um, all right, look, coming up to our ball here. Bowl. I mean, take a look at this. I stayed in the right side of the fairway right here. Don't ask me how that's even remotely possible. But I kicked out. Actually, that's you, GP. Oh, that is my ball. That is my ball. I did kick out. Now we gotta keep it rolling just for the camera. I think I see Jared, if I'm being honest. Look how far he kicked up, folks. Jared, I found you, pal. Look how far this, look at that. His shot went further than mine by almost 20 yards. Yeah, that's Jared. Jared's an AVX type of guy. But uh, hey man, we take those. What do we got? I don't know, I didn't, I didn't tap it, but hey, he outdrove me with that. 105? Our 105, maybe a little flyer. Well, soft 58 degree. I mean, I can't make a swing to save my life. But we're gonna try one here, stay down. Stay through it here. And I nearly shanked it. In the bunker. Be in the bunker. All right, GP here. From the fairway, it's just about 110 yards. It's coming in a little hot. That's a good shot there, kind of right on the fringe. And he's gonna have a nice little look. At birdie. Here's what I'm looking at. I found this bunker. Let's see what I can do. Terrible shot. All right. I would normally putt this, but I feel like it's going to slide so much, and I, I'm really bad at slides off the carpet. So I'm just going to give a nice little trip. Get down there. Kind of a poor effort, but we make those for par. But I think I want to go just outside of it. I mean, it's the only place I don't want to be here because it's straight downhill. Not quite sure if I could stop the ball. Well, let's see. Hopefully the cop can stop mine. Oh man. Just rolls it past. Straight up the hill or bogey. Didn't deserve bogey anyway, I'm in for double. All right, left to right, gotta hit it. He's in, nice par. Thank you. So, par five, little dog like right. I got three wood. I think I've hit the side of the face one time today. Clear, opposite the other day. I think I'm in my head a little too much. I think I was gonna try and stay down and swing hard. See if I can cut one. Didn't cut it. But it smoked. Got hit a draw towards that bunker. Should be in the fairway. Turning right. I think it just snuck off into the rough, but it shouldn't be too bad. Good shot. 
Alrighty, um, happy with my play on the back. Um, just gotta keep it rolling. I really want that birdie. So let's go get one, par five, why not? Disclaimer, I've actually holed out for a par here about from 100 yards out, like about two years ago. So I like this hole, mentally. Kind of sneaking a little right towards those trees. He needs a kick. I saw it bounce, kind of in between the trees. I think it actually stuck bounced, through the trees. Yeah, it bounced forward. Didn't hear anything, so I think he's actually okay. Yep. A little we'll lucky see. breaks from the trees. We're just going to go find and hit it. Whew. Okay, forgot his phone. Forgot my phone on the tee box because I was texting my girlfriend. Love you, Flo. Um, but yeah, our carts are so slow. I was like, yeah, I'll just sprint. And then I pulled out the Usain Bolt, started full striding. So I got to catch my breath before this next shot because it's really important. All right. All right, this ball stuck to the tree. He's kind of got a berry lie in the rough. All right, he's got you know 215, what? but he doesn't really have any kind of shot. I think he's gonna punch out. What do you got? We're alive. I have nine iron. He's gonna take a good swing, keep it under these trees. Looks pretty good going towards that bunker. Just sit. sit just a little bit. Oh, I think it dropped in that bunker. Yeah, it's a good pitch, but unlucky. Just found the rough. I gotta get a flyer lie. I mean, I don't know what it is to cover. I got 190. I mean, I don't think seven hours is enough, but if it flies, maybe I can just carry and then it kind of rolls back there. It's gonna be kind of the uh, hope and prayer there. Gonna play it back. Gotta go a little steep and hope I can get a little flyer. Uh, then I hit a chunky. Get lucky. Oh. Uh, right in that bunker, but it's right. chipping, hitting three on a par five. It's okay. Nice. All right, GB's got a hundred yard All right, beat shot once again. Really similar to the shot I hit on hole number one. I want to hit right now, so uh, let's do that. Arms first. Got the lip, but it's all right. He's out there. All right, chip Actually in the putt. fairway, Good chip it a putt. Down for par, save it. All right, here's what GP's looking at. He's hitting four on this par five. I happen to find dead center in the bunker. Pin's kind of front right. Here's GP with his fourth shot. He's coming in a little hot. Land softly on the green, and he's got a little tester long putt for his par. All right, found the sand. Pretty simple bunker shot. Let's see if we can get up and down for a birdie. Spin. I think it's kind of one of those you hit it, you have it kind of situations. I agree. All right, should be just a gimme here. Yes sir, sneaks in and good par. All right, GP with his long par putt. All right, a little bit of a double breaker here. So my line is just to the right of the flag stick. Gotta get it there. This looks pretty good. I tell you what. I mean, well that's a little tap in there. We're gonna give you that. And we're going on to 16, I believe. Short par three. Let's see if we can uh, put some tight. All right, you got a par three, playing 145 with the slope. He's got a pitching wedge in hand. Should be pretty full. Let's see if I can uh, hit one out of the center. I missed the center of the face. He's gotta go. Nice shot. Should be kind of 20 feet for birdie. Okay. All right, 145. All right, just gotta hit a really firm eight iron right on to the green. We'll see. 
Let's get it. Sit down. She's kind of on that collar there. Can't get one putt to the hole. But that should be okay there. Should have a tap in birdie. That's yeah, good for my eyes. Four. Great par. Alrighty. Kind of thrown off. There's like a truck on the cart path. Like an actual truck. Just gotta clean it up. Tough shot. Part five. Straight away. Usually pretty reachable, but this T box is all the way back here. So you guys see there's a pickup truck back there? That's the owner of the club actually following us for the last two holes. Not sure why, but not sure why. Kinda slipped a little, but that should be really nice. Left side of the fairway bouncing. Push up. All right, not gonna lie, I don't play good for an audience. I mean, look, 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 at, look at the truck over here. I mean, the headlights right in his face as he's hitting. This is really scary, I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, he steps up, kind of slipped a little, but he's kind of going right up the left side of the fairway. Should be perfect. He's got 230 in, he's gonna hit a nice little layup up there. Kind of a smoke show of a drive. I tugged it. Nice pull draw right at that tree. Might be in the trap over there, but he's okay. Should be fine. Alrighty, Jared's second shot here. I got 178 into a par five. Got seven iron, just gonna try to put a good swing up there. Let's go. Oh, sit. I think I should be on the back. I should have put an eagle. All right, GP for a third shot out of the sand. He's got 79 yards. Oh, that's pretty good right there. Good shot. Welcome to the green. I got a putted eagle here. Actually, ended up being pin high after I kind of tugged that. Let's see if I can uh, make my first ever eagle. Turn. Turn. All right. Well, Tapping birdie. No complaints. That's good. With the tap, thank you. So GP's giving this to me. It's in it anyway. Almost an eagle in front of the owner. GP now had to mark it over one ball or one uh, head cut. You cover. literally used my marker. Yeah, he used the marker. So we got a nice read, so it doesn't come back, come down as much as it looks like. All right. Really need to make this after dropping two on the last hole. Break in there. Have it. Hit it and you have it. It's honestly not even good. Part three, 180 something yards. Need to win. I got six iron. Try and put one good swing out there. Oh, I tugged that so far left. I actually made it over onto the yep. blue tee box. Yep. So I'm actually in play. <laughs> Good shot. I tugged that so far. Good shot. I'm on the other tee box. It's At least playable. I'm not in the water. It's playable. It's not in the water. I not what that is. Alrighty. Plastic tea is being really annoying. Okay. All right, I stayed in play. Yep, on that hill, bounce right. Hobie in play, kind of by the telephone pole. It's all right, two and a putt. All righty, it's getting dark here, but we are on 18. Me and Jared's cars were the last two people in this parking lot. This is my ball. 
This telephone pole should not really affect my line at all. Jared's driving to his ball. Now it's on the other tee box, so we're going to see what happens. These last couple holes have really been a struggle with just so many people like coming to say stuff to us. I don't even know who that is. Guys, that's why I doubled the par three, okay? The owner was looking at me. I should have just sunk in the bogey putt. But, um, Jared found his ball. He is right there on that tee box. So let's see what he's got. Really, really nice. Oh my God. That was a great shot from there. Good shot. Not bad here. Well, it rolls out a ton. And this is kind of what he's looking at. Four is par. All right, got this for par. If we make this 79, if we bogey it, it's an 80. I want to say that's good. All right, let's just tap it in. All right, in with bogey. It's 80 for me on the day. Solid round, Jared. I played awful, but. Get in, get in. All right, hey, hey. 85 on the day is not too bad. Left some putts out there. Got to tap it in. Good day. Thanks for watching Paintbrush Golf. Great game, Jared. All right, fellas. Join us next time. Join us next time. Like, comment, subscribe, follow. See you soon.